All right. Hello, everybody, and uh, be surprised to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link, and don't forget to download the video right after we finish the broadcast. For those who did not watch our video yesterday about Dr. Uh, what was his name? S S Sanihu Munir. Sanihu. Uh, you can watch, you find the link for a new uh, link because I don't keep videos in my channel, as you know. You can find it in the info down. Actually, you search for the name for the last 24 hours, you will find the videos in many channels. So feel free to download it yourself and load it in your uh, channel. Now, yesterday, we noticed that this guy, he is bringing books of philosophy, attacking Christianity. And what he do, he hold it in his hand and he quote for us. And here you, you find the weakness and how silly uh, Muhammadan are. When you want to fight Christianity, you don't fight me by a quotation of an author. I am an author too. So, this guy, he said so. Okay, and? I mean, that's very silly and very stupid. Secondly, you forgot that Islam is a counterfeit of Judaism and Christianity and other belief. So the second you attack Christianity by those statements, you just shot yourself. And this is how stupid that you know trial is. Very foolish, very, you know, I feel sorry for, for, for those who try to do that because it's show me how low IQ they have. Uh, you know, sometimes when I talk to Muslims, I feel like as if I am coming from different galaxy. It's like I'm not like I don't know what's why why they are even thinking that way. I mean, don't they say that this is stupid? Don't they see it? And today they, we have a we have a someone one of you. He sent me a link of a Muslim sheikh. He's posting in Arabic in his Facebook. He want to debate me. He want to challenge me. Okay, why you don't call me? Here we go. My Skype is open every day. As long as you heard of me. As long you know about me, I never heard of you. As long you are willing to debate me, as long Christian Prince he says anytime, anyhow, anywhere, which means the internet, you know, as you know, I do my mission in the internet, then call me. What if this is a I want to challenge you, choose a topic, and you know, like you know, the Arab, by the way, they like to debate about how to debate, but they never debate. So let us debate now about how to debate. What time is good for you? I challenge you anytime. Okay, well, just call me, man. Just call me. My Skype right now is open. And uh, as long as Allah is with you, you will be victorious. Like this guy, and the guy before him, and the guy before him, and the guy before him. And all of you are victorious. I never, I never win, actually, with any Muslim. All of you are big and beautiful. Uh, now, today, as long as we mention uh, philosophy, I wanted to show you the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan when they speak about science. Many of you heard Muslims saying that there is many famous scientific uh, scientist uh, Muslims, but they don't tell you that those people they are accused to be kuffar. They are ex-Muslims. They are atheists. And here we have some of the most famous ones: Ibn Sina, Ibn Rushd, Al Jahiz. Abu Ala al al Ma'arri, Nasir al Din al Tusi, al Kendi, al Kindi, Jabir ibn Hayyan. By the way, Jabir Hayyan is listed as a Muslim mistakenly because this guy is a Sabian. Abdullah ibn al Muqaffa. Okay, so who's left? So as you see, when there is somebody he tried to be smart between the Muslims, they accuse him to be an apostate. He left Islam right away. Because in this, yeah, Al Khawarizmi, etc., there is a long list. And don't don't remind me of Al Khawarizmi, please. I remember once I was studying history, you know, in the Middle East, it was just, uh, 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 history of Arab scientists. Arab scientists, this is the, the name. So the teacher, he said, today our topic is about the scientist Al Khawarizmi. So I was thinking like Al Khawarizmi, Al Khawarizmi. What that mean in Arabic? Nothing. I could not find a word fit with it. And in Arabic, you know, when we say like there's a way to find like to call somebody by the the, the place he's coming from. So I said, sir. Uh, he said, uh, nah, not you again. What? I said, what Al Khawarizmi mean? He said he is from the city of Al Khawarizm. I said, okay, where is Khawarizm? He said, is in Iran. I said, so how is an Arab? He said, can you stop asking questions? 
He's an he's a Persian. They made him Arab. See the propaganda. Anyone he is famous, they make him Arab. As simple as that. You die as a Persian. You wake up in the Muslim books as an Arab. Hmm. But I said, I said, I said don't, 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 that's it. That's it. I, I, you know, I don't want to talk. It's embarrassing. The guy is a Persian. They made him Arab. Okay. So, and here we find in front of us, uh, as an example, uh, Ibn Rushd, uh, Ibn, uh, what about Ibn Khaldun? Ibn Khaldun, he spent in jail more than he spent in his hotel room. For they accuse him to be an atheist. So what you notice about Muslims today, they are proud about a hair does not belong to them. A Muslim guy is like a bald person. Uh, he is proud about the hair of his neighbor. You know? By the way, I'm not attacking bald people. Be careful. Huh? I'm just giving you a parable. So if you read the, uh, the article here, it's about all of those names, you know, they are accused to be atheists, and they were some of them. Even they want to like try to kill them. Some of them they succeed to kill. So, uh, what they do today, in order to make Islam look better, they quote names of people being tortured by Muslims, chased, run away for their life, just to make Islam look better. As simple as that. Ibn Khaldun, as an example, he said, the Arab are savage people. And by the way, I am an Arab. Hmm. This, they are savage people. In order to cook a meal, they are willing to burn a library. And he said, they, want, they were burning the books of the library of Alexandria for a long time, just for food they took all the books on the library of Alexandria one of the greatest libraries in the history of mankind the Arab they took the books to use it for fuel this is in the books of Ibn Khaldun the Muslims are proud about him because they did not read what Ibn Khaldun said about Islam one day Christian Prince he will die and they will say to you Christian Prince before he died, he put the middle, middle finger up and he says Shahada. Any famous person in the world today, he died, they make him convert to Islam. And they make and they fabricate fake quotation. As an exa example, there's a guy, his name is George Bernard Shaw. They said that this guy, he said, that if the Prophet of Allah, Muhammad was, exists, he can solve all the problems of the world in less five minutes than five minutes while he's drinking his coffee in the morning. I was saying what uh, what we, okay where we can find this quotation in which book where we, we could not find it so they fabricate quotations they use famous names in order to deceive you in order to deceive you and now depend on how foolish you are how silly you are how shallow you are that deception will work What the cha? So we don't say it's a uh, nihu, say we shanihu. Are you correcting the way I say the name? Shanihu. Okay, Shanihu Munir. I don't care for his name, my friend. I feel sorry for the guy. Actually, I feel sorry because he's old and I don't want to cause him a heart attack. God knows what happened to this guy after he watched my video. You know, I really feel sorry for him. But I, for me as a Christian, I have to do my duty to get the lies busted. I'm not getting him busted. I'm getting the lies he said busted. All right. Otherwise, really, I'm not really. I, I mean, I mean, I don't call for a person. I don't know him. I don't have a problem actually to invite him to my house and have a lunch with him. I have no problem with people. The ones are in the screen are my cousins. Who are they? I mean, we are talking, man. What are you listening? Those are scientists in the history of Islam. 
They are accused to be atheist, kuffar, infidels. But the Muslim today are so proud about them. So they will not tell you that those people are really not Muslims. Now we're speaking about philosophy. When a Muslim try to use philosophy in order to prove something, first of all, do Islam actually allow philosopher? Those are people who uh, practice philosophy. And they wrote about it. And one of the reasons for them to be called kuffar is that reason actually. Now here, you will see there is a, a question asked in this uh, article in a Muslim website, the Fatwa website. Fatwa number uh, 55501. This is not my phone number, don't call that number, okay? Oh, sorry, the Fatwa number is 88184, uh, okay? 88184. So what about philosophy? Is it allowed? And here you will see the, the, the Muslim is saying to you, what is the philosophers about? Philosopher is those who deny many things about God. Hmm? This is according to Islam. In this sense, in this sense, philosophy is opposed to wisdom. This is the Muslim opinion about philosophy. It's opposed to wisdom. Hmm? I did not say that. They say that. If you are a person who try to be a philosopher you are opposing wisdom which means you're a fool okay so why why you are trying to use something is opposing to Islam to prove a Christianity false and then you quote a quotation from a guy he have his opinion whatever his opinion this is just an opinion it is not a fact it is his opinion this is what philosophy is about there is an Arabian, you know, like me, he went to school to learn about philosophy. So he attended a class, it's called logic. He asked the teacher, sir, what is logic? The teacher trying to explain, he said, logic is something you know, or you're learning about something uh, you do not know from something you know. The guy, he said, I don't understand. Can you give me an example? The teacher, he said, okay, I will give you an example. Do you have a chain in your house? Chain, you know, like the one you, you tie a dog with it. The guy, he said, yes. The teacher said, wonderful. Because you have a chain, that's mean you have a dog. The guy said, yes. He said, because you have a chain and you have a dog, that's mean you have a yard. The guy was like, his eyes is open like a frog, like, wow, yeah. He said, because you have a chain and you have a dog and you have a yard, that's mean you have a nice house. The guy said, amazing, yes. He said, as long as you have a chain and you have a dog and you have a yard and you have a big house, that's mean your mom is taking care of this big house. The guy said, yes. The teacher, he said, because you have a chain and you have a dog and you have a yard and you have a big house and your mother is taking care of the house we learn that your mother is a decent good woman the guy like wow all of this we learn from the chain he said yes so the arabian guy like dr uh, chanhu chanuhu munir he learned this logic so he went to the street and the first person he saw he asked him do you have a chain the guy he said no he said to him your mother is a whore because he learned from the teacher that the one who have a chain his mother is a good woman so as long you don't your mother you, you, as long you don't have a chain it's mean your mother is not a good woman this is when Muslims they learn logic their logic is awkward I don't know how many of you have a chain there. <laughs> I'm just giving you an example about how they think. So they they take from what it's called logic or philosophy their ice cream, which we mean they, they, they like they quote a verse and they themselves they don't agree with it. They quote a, a statement, but they themselves they don't like it. It just they use it as an emission in their funny deceiving war.
So when when we try to uh, speak with Muhammadan, always you have to put in your consideration that those people they have their own funny logic, and because of that, you better use their logic against them. And today we will give you an example. Who is a Muslim willing to call me? Who is a Muslim is willing to call me? What is the guy he want to debate me with his name? Sheikh what? I forgot his name. What was his name? The guy I just made a video for him. Man, I'm getting old. Unbelievable. So where are they? Who is the Muslim want to call me and use his logic? Islamic logic. What is the logic? As an example, what is the logic? Uh, this is his Skype. Is that given by him? Is that posted by him? Maybe it's a fake person. Because I don't think the guy is uh, is now up. It is three. It's three forty nine p.m. It is almost four p.m. in the morning. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I don't think he is up. And by the way, I post in his channel. I told him, please choose any time. We will call you. No problem. I will wake up even if it's like 4 a.m. in the morning for me. Uh, anyway. If we try to use philosophy. Okay, I'm going to try to use philosophy. And maybe the Muslims, as long as they like philosophy, they can help me. So I am a person is going to believe in Allah. Okay, and because I am a person who is going to believe in Allah, the philosophy of Allah is to reward me. And what is the reward? Remember, we are trying to use logic, philosophy. So if I believe in this God, his name is Allah, he is going to import for me a beautiful woman who have nice breasts private or nice uh, nice private part I'm not going to use the word just to be polite and he promised me that my private part will never sleep now based in this philosophy is that a sexual philosophy is that a wise philosophy is that a spiritual philosophy what is this philosophy is who is a Muslim when I explain to us this philosophy I am a philosopher. My name is Philosoph. What is the philosophy of this? Okay, I believe in you, and now you want to make my private part never go sleep. What about you promise me that my tire will never go flat? That is more important for driving. Even how you can drive if this guy never sleep? I mean, it's embarrassing. You cannot wear a short, you cannot wear a pajama, you cannot wear anything. How you want to meet people, man? So wherever you go, this guy is like, boing. like, sit down, man. So this is the philosophy, the philosophy of who? I'm just trying to understand, I mean, what kind of a promises those promises are? And why does God, he will go to the heaven, sorry, to the hell, look, look. He will import from hell, import export business. Okay, Allah is going to hell and he will import from hell women who have nice breast and nice private part. How nice? Do you have images, please? And why he is importing them from hell? Because they are so hot. Philosophy, this is philosophy. In hell, women are hot, not like in heaven, they are cold. You know, in heaven, there's the Quran says there is no heat. You will be always sitting in the shade. Women in hell, in hell, you can imagine how much calories they observe from the heat, brother. What is that? So, who is the Muslim when I explain to us the philosophy of Allah? As long as you like philosophy. What is the philosophy behind Allah promising us boys in the heaven who they are so white 
the Muslim they say that those are servant no problem what is behind the philosophy of those boys who they are white like pros why they are not black what about having some Asian why all the boys are like pearls very white and they are very beautiful by the way it says here young males what young male may Allah young you may Allah young you and make you like young you it says old man boys what is the philosophy behind that so I pray for you five times and then you make how many boys Allah will give me how many 80,000 little boy 80,000 yes 80,000 oh look this hadith has no translation for it what happened me it's gone translation here is gone it's empty all right the list of people of paradise in the position is one with 80,000 servant which is we showed you they are boys 80,000 boys two little boys can drive you not Allah will give me 80,000 boys are you sure they are not 80,000 and one? I mean, why are we stuck with the 80,000? Why 72 wives only? What about 73? Muhammad is stuck with the number 70, 72. Wherever he go, 70, 72. Uh, Jesus, he used the number 70, so Muhammad, he took it, and he started using it all over. Hmm? drive you nuts double meaning what does that mean I don't know excuse my English English is not my first language so if you know other meaning about what I say this is not what I meant any Muslim want to tell us the philosophy of the philosopher Allah what is the philosophy why if I go and do jihad and I kill some people Allah will give me all of those and the funny the Muslim they say in the heaven you do not need servant because your clothes will never get wrinkled will never be ruined they will never get old you never sweat you never take a shower and you never do poo poo so what the servant for and if you wish food the food will be in the front of you without anyone bring it to you you can watch the the, the the Dean show. There's a video, it's called Description of Paradise. It's the hilarious video ever. I wish I can play it for you. You would die laughing, literally. So, what the point of this 70 or 80, 80,000 80, uh, uh, servant? If I look at the bird, brother, the guy in the Dean show, he said, Brother, brother, as an example, brother, you see a bird in the sky, brother. And you like to have this bird you say alhamdulillah the bird will be in the front of you brother cooked and ready for eat okay so what what the eighty thousand boys for and as long as there is no garbage no shower no wrinkles no dust and no dirt so what the boys will do the muhammadan they say this is not they are not for sex but it doesn't make sense you have to give me what their job they are and why the Quran is speaking about them as young boys and who they are so so beautiful and beauty here in Arabic is about being white in Islam the only beauty they see is being white it's a racist cult do we have any Muslim would like to call us to understand the philosophy of Allah Anyone?
Where is the guys who want to debate me? They want to challenge me. Chris Timbrens, we challenge you. And we are willing to debate you. All what you need to do, brother, call me baby. <laughs> call me baby. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, you know, Christians, when the Muslims try to, you know, make their fancy uh, cult, I say fancy cult because, you know, you see, the, the fancy, the reason of having something fancy, as they the word is used, like you say, you have a fancy wedding, fancy clothing, fancy cars. The purpose of the fancy is to show off. Not to enjoy because you know I can enjoy a meal of food which is a small dish have the same food I do not need to bring 1,000 dish in my table which I will not eat all so the fancy thing they do is just to show off but they try to cover by showing off what is behind the show the ugliness the destruction like one of you he sent me uh, an article about a boy he was arrested when he was like eight or nine years old in Saudi Arabia uh, in the street for striking against the government supposedly and he will be executed actually he will be crucified I mean what kind of religion you want to crucify a boy a boy crucifying him what on why crucifixion and by the way this is coming from the Quran crucifixion is an order by Allah for anyone who wage war against Allah how the boy he wage war against Allah because as long you don't agree with Allah teaching in somehow let us say a sect teaching of the Sunni he's a Shia you are waging war me myself right now if I go to Saudi Arabia they will crucify me because I am waging war against Allah and they will cut my hands and they will cut my feet and they will cut my fingertips and they will put nails in my eyes because this is the order of the Allah the mercy the merciful remember the Muslim they say when they speak about their God Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Allah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Allah the merciful the mercy I mean, do you see how much mercy? Yet, they want to slaughter a little boy. You know? And by the way, even those boys, uh, they are learning to be evil because they go and they shout death to America, death to, to Israel, death. You know, they are practicing, even the boys there, they are practicing evil. But this is for me is not really what the, what, what, what the what important is. The important is, that they are using a little boy to make Allah happy. This is the boy they are going to crucify. And then if we crucify this boy, Allah will be happy, satisfied. I mean, do you see the wisdom of Allah? For sure, this is amazing wisdom. And by the way, this is from the BBC News. I will post the link for those who speak Arabic. This boy is the enemy of Allah. But remember, this is not new. Do you remember the story in the Quran where a prophet, his name is Al Khudr, he been ordered by Allah to slaughter a boy. Why? Because Allah told him that this boy, when he grow up, he will be bad to his parents. But he did not do anything yet. 
I mean, since when? In which in which philosophy? In which logic? You will be killed, and you are a Muslim. You are a son of a Muslim family, supposedly. And then you kill the person before he commit the crime, while he is a little boy. Just because we feared, we feared that he would give them a hard time. What does that mean? That is Islam. You see it? <clears throat> this is the philosophy of God, and this is the wise God. Only Muslim adult is allowed in our channel. No one under age, please. Any Muslim? And supposedly, this guy, he is teaching Musa's, Prophet Musa's philosophy, the Islamic philosophy of Allah. Musa was wondering, why you killed the boy? Why you are killing the boy who is a youth, little child who did nothing? Huh? Musa was a fool. He don't understand Islam yet. So Al Khadr, by the way, in this story, Allah sent Musa to learn from Al Khadr, which means Al Khadr is like, a, do you know, like when Johnny English he went to learn the Kung Fu? Do, do you know? Do you know what I'm saying? Johnny English, he went to learn. Uh, He wanted to learn kung, kung Fu. Kung Fu. You remember, don't you? So Allah, He sent Musa's to learn Kung Fu from Al Khadr. You guys, don't tell me why you don't debate this guy. You don't debate this guy. Okay, let him call me. What the point of asking me? Bring him. Let him call me. So Musa, he went, uh, junior English, I mean, he went to a prophet Al Khadr, and there he was being schooled. And not only that, I don't know how many of you noticed what happened at the end. Johnny English was fired from the school. I, I mean, sorry, it's prophet Musa, because. Uh, uh, he keep causing trouble problems the teacher he keep trying to teach him and Moses he keep making you know causing him trouble let us see we have a Muslim I guess okay I don't know if this is I think this is uh, this guy the, the guy from Nigeria the kid let us see Answer Abdul. Are we playing games? Okay, maybe he's playing games. I will give you one more chance. You call me. If not, I will I will block you. All right. So don't waste don't waste your chance. Islamic stories. Not only it's not logical, it is foolish. And by the way, I don't know if you know that uh, uh, how Sulaiman, sorry, how Musa was able to find Al Khadr. Anyone remember? Anyone remember? I mean, I advise you to read the chapter of 18 in the Quran. This is the most fancy fiction chapter ever you can imagine.
very stupid chapter the chapter of stupidity it's not even good for kids Allah told Moses if you want to find my servant al Khadr, take with you a big fish a wheel in the basket dead fish dead whale if we can call the, the whale fish and when the fish move and run away then there you will find uh, al Khadr. you know uh, what's wrong with this guy Mahdi, can you debate this guy just to bring them bring them bring them hello uh, no i don't at arabia did you tell arabia yourself do you tell arabia yourself <laughs> is that is that Johnny English? Is that Johnny English? I mean, the guy himself don't speak Arabic, and he's saying that the Arabia. What does that mean? Is that supposed to be Arabic? And why you hang up? Call me back, and we wanna have fun, man. Where you go? I thought it's a Mickey Mouse calling me. Uh, he wanna he wanna grab his headphone. He wanna grab his headphone. Okay. So guys, in, uh, invite because there's a guy that Takalam Arabia is going to call me. This is his name, I think. His name is Takalam Arabia. We are waiting for him to call us back. Oh boy. I don't know how fun it is to be Christian Prince, but it's not fun. I can't even sleep. My I cannot stop my brain from thinking. Seriously. I wish I have a switch like you can sleep and be comfortable. It's good to be foolish sometime. To bring comfort. So if we if we look at the story here in front of us, um, actually we can go and read the story in the hadith, where this wheel, he got to live again. Anyone remember how? How this fish came back to life? Anyone remember how this fish came back to life? Who remember? The fountain of youth. How many of you watch the, the what it's called the movie uh, the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Fountain of Youth I'm searching for it Fountain of Youth okay let's see here we go we found the Fountain of Youth Do you remember? Allah, He had the same fountain. So the story here is a true story, brother. Hi, can you hear me? I hear you. Go ahead. Go ahead. I hear you. Hello. What happened? Call me, my friend. Call me. I heard you. I hope he's not just playing games.
it says his speaker is off okay fix your problem all right fix your problem so the Quran have the same story and the hadith about the fountain of youth where if you touch this water or drink from it you come back to life and by the way this is true I have many of my neighbors who die and they come to our fountain at home in the Middle East those things you can find only in the Middle East and they drunk from the same water but at that time brother we do not know that this is the fountain of youth we thought it's just a fountain they drank from it and then they come back to life and by the way they were zombie they came to us walking you know because this is how they came after death you know what is that this is a book of God a book of God is speaking about fountain of youth a prophet of God teaching us there is a fountain of youth by the way why we have only 878 Okay, let us increase the number. Hey guys, later we are going to talk about lips sticks and eyelashes. You will see now the number will increase. Because we decided to switch the topic and talk about something very serious. Hmm? All right. I'm telling you, if you speak about lipstick, you will have like 10,000 live people watching. But uh, our topic, there's no lipsticks. We have a stick only. We don't have the lips. <laughs> okay, look at this hadith, guys. Look at this hadith. Why Al Khadr, he killed this nun? Uh, this uh, uh, this boy here they translate by the way says the young man in Arabic it doesn't say young man liars it says the youth the child who was killed by Al Khadr is an unbeliever by his very nature um, can you hear me now I do hear you oh uh, I can't he wait give me a second um, can you hear me now I do hear you. Go ahead. I can't hear you. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to block him. What do you think, guys? Give him one more chance. What do you think? And why in the beginning he was fabricating a, a voice? Uh, hello? Hello? Um, TP, can you hear me? I hear you. If not, I'm going to use um, YouTube. I hear you. Give me a second. I don't don't hang up. Let me let me try and. Um... Take care. We blocked you. So why the young boy? He was killed because he is a non-believer by uh, his very nature. Who is a Muslim and explain to us how you can be a young boy who is non-believer by a very nature? Any Muslim? No, that's it. I will block him because I think he's playing games. In the beginning, he, he called, he acting in a different voice. And now he speak a nice uh, accent in English. He's plain. Any Muslim can tell us how this non-believer, he is non-believer by his very nature. He's just a boy. What happened? Any Muslim? Any Mohammedan? If uh, any Muslim don't like it,
what is very nature this guy is a boy so who is the one who made the nature of this boy who is the one gave him that nature the nature of a kafir infidel where he got it from here you notice how silly this cult the cult of Islam it's extremely silly because if Allah gave him his nature so you are killing him for the nature you gave it to him you know what I mean if Allah is the one who gave the nature for this little tiny youth so why you want to kill him kill the one who gave him the nature When you say by his very nature, that's me. He's born with it. Isn't it Allah who said that Allah He put your destiny before He created you when you were a sperm in the backbone of your parents? So this is the destiny of this person. So the destiny of this person by his very nature, which is made by Allah to be an unbeliever, and then Allah asking one of us to kill him. Why Allah don't kill him himself? Okay, I'm fine. What do you want to say to us? Okay, uh, brother, I'm sorry that I'm all, uh, like you know this this week many times calling you, man. That's because inshallah my sheikh will soon call you. But I can uh, and quickly because there's not that one no, no, call take your time, you, right? Take your time. So why are you are in a rush? Why, why? Take it easy. Take it easy. I'm here. I'm listening. What do you want to say? Go ahead. You can call me as as, as many times as you wish. No, it's okay. Yeah, what do you want to say, Tom? Uh, I'm not Muslim. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, give me a second. Let me bring my uh, laptop, brother. Mm -hmm. I, I can respond to this. It's it's very easy. It's just you can not respond, brother. Let me. Let me um, okay. So what uh, hadith? Hmm. Let me see. Let So um. It's very easy. All right. Um. So it says the young man whom Qadir. Killed was a non believer by his very nature, hmm. and he had survived who then involved his parents in the fish uh, defiance and unbelief. Hmm. So, hmm. uh, brother, hmm. so do you believe there's destiny in Christianity? No, we don't. Do believe. You, uh, I mean, do you believe free will in the what free will? Uh, do you uh, do you... we believe yes, in free yes. will? Yes, in free will, but you Muslim don't believe in free will. But how Huh? No, you you cannot live in free will, brother. Because how can there be destiny in okay. Christianity if there's free will? All right, I will go. I will go with you. So if this guy he don't have a free will, so why he is getting killed? Allah, he is the one who made him this way. Why you want to kill him? Who is the one who made him a, a non-believer by his very nature? Give me the name of the one who made him like that. So if I if I if I uh, no, no, give me the name born, first. Yeah. Give me the name first. So, give, give me the name of the maker. Who is the one who made him? non-believer by his very nature give me the name who is the one who made him like that um non well well it's it's everyone like everyone has nature it's this like, is not uh, the question there's another question who is the one you said to me that you must we don't believe in free will and destiny this is his destiny okay who is the one who made his destiny to be a non-believer Allah made the okay. destiny so Allah, Allah made him non-believer so Allah made him he forced him to be non-believer and now Allah he is asking me to kill him for not being non-believer well this is the will of Allah I mean who is here the who is the crazy here the kid he did nothing wrong he just did the will of Allah so if somebody obey Allah by doing what Allah want we kill him <laughs> uh, no but it's let me see the man who Qadir killed was a non believer by his very nature. Mm. He survived with the faith of his parents. So, uh, does it, are you saying that this actually, um, this hadith proved that there's no free will? You are the one who told me a second ago there's no free will. And now you are saying to me, do you, are you saying to me this one to prove it is you who said there's no free will? You forgot what you just said five minutes ago. No, I said there's free will in Islam. No, there's no free will in Islam. Where can you show me where? Here we go. This is this is your prophet 
Saying in the follow. Wait. Hold on. Which became the yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Um, this is this is your prophet speaking about a debate, and we mentioned this many times before. I'm sure you saw it. A debate between Moses and Adam. And Moses and uh, uh, you know he said to Adam because of your sin we are out of heaven Adam he said to him do you blame me and I want you to read with me in the screen please uh, do you blame me for action which Allah has written in my fate 40 years before my creation Do you blame me for actions that Allah has created, uh, written in my faith for 40 years before my creation? Mm. Can, uh, we blame, can we blame Adam for his sin? Can we? But th this was Adam specifically. Doesn't matter. Adam is one of us. He's a human too. He's not an angel. He's not God. He commits sin against God. So can you blame Adam for his sin? No, no. So why Allah kicked him out of heaven? Um, we should be happy actually that Adam sent. It should be one of our. Uh, okay, I'm glad that you actually, are happy. Okay, Adam, I'm, so I'm glad that you are happy that yes. Adam sent. But it's not the choice here. He did not make a choice to. Uh, this guy is happy because Adam sent. He happy. Okay, you are happy. You will die. You are happy. You get sick. You are happy. You will get injured. You are happy that you are not happy. I mean, what kind of happiness you are talking about? You are a human now who suffer from a lot of things. So you are happy for not being happy. Adam was in heaven, happy, real happiness, supposed to be in heaven. Are you still using the neighbor network? My internet broke. Give me a second. Let me fix it. Is it the switch to the neighbor, the other neighbor. Muslims never pay for the internet. Send your wife to the neighbor and ask him for the other uh, password. Do you see the logic of the Muslims? We, we have to speak to them. This, you know, you have to go down to their level in like like a children's. They are like children's. He is happy that Adam commits him. We should be happy. I mean, have you ever? This is philosophy. Here we go. This is a new philosophy. We should happy should be happy because Adam he commits sin. Hmm. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy that my neighbor she is sleeping around. Hmm. Okay. I'm happy that my uh, 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 my governor is corrupt. Mm -hmm. I'm happy that the judge is a, is a, is, a, is corrupt. Okay. I'm happy that the police. I mean, what is guy? What is see the logic? In order to cover up for the poo poo. Of their prophet they are willing to say anything anything just to cover it don't worry be happy if your girlfriend sleep around and you don't have in your pocket a pound don't worry be happy right can you just be worried? Don't worry. Be ha I'm happy. What happened to you? Call me back. The internet of the neighbors is not functioning. Who won the reference for this uh, link? You want it? Who won this reference? So later, if we yeah, if we need it, please you can you be mention it. Uh, and always don't mention things unless I I say mention it. You know, sometimes we have to get the Abdul into surprise. Any Muslim? Hmm. If you remember once, we debated a Muslim and he said, Allah, he was, he needed a victim. Anyone remember the video? When a Muslim he called me and he says Allah he needed a victim and he wanted to needed the victim so he would be known so according to Muslims Adam was a victim 
because Allah wanted to be known. I mean, how stupid it is. There's only one guy, his name is Adam. To known to be whom? Allah is looking for publicity. What do you mean to be known? Adam, he know him already. He created him, and according to the your prophet, even uh, Adam, he sneezed, had you, and Allah, he says to him, Allah bless you. Hmm? I can show you the reference. While Allah was creating Adam, Adam, he sneezed. And by the way, in case you do not know, Allah, he loved those who sneeze, and he hate those who do yawning. And here, this is another level of philosophy. I mean, who is the philosopher he can come with this? Such a belief that God, his name supposedly, Allah, he love those who sneeze and he dislike those who yawn. And why he don't like those who sneeze? Because shaitan, he jump in their mouth and he laugh inside their opening. That is a special level of philosophy. The Muslim, they made an article saying, Prophet, do you know that the Prophet Muhammad says, when you sneeze, you need to cover your mouth or yawn? Okay. The prophet said that and they make an article about and they start quoting for you what scientists says about how diseases and bacteria can spread when you sneeze or do yawn but the prophet is not talking about this he claimed the reason for the real you see they quote for you this this line only from the story so when one of you yawns let him cover his mouth with his hand Okay, and here the Muslim they stop. They don't want to read the rest. So they try to make it as a scientific as much as they could. But the fact, the rest of the story is very funny. It's a cartoon. It's like a Mickey, a Tom and Jerry. For when he says, ah, ah, a shaitan love from inside his opening. Ah, 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 ah. What the heck is that? That is philosophy by its own. And by the way, this is proving to be true. You can put a slow motion camera and yawn and see what will happen. And Muhammad trying to protect your opening. Which opening, by the way? I mean, what's wrong with the opening of the Muslims? Muhammad, he says, Shaitan, he play with your anus. Shaitan, he uh, around yourself, around your penis. Shaitan, he do the women when she have sex with her husband if they don't say a prayer. Shaitan, he uh, uh, he play with your belly bomb. Shaitan, he piss in your ears. Shaitan, now he is jumping inside your mouth. And Shaitan, he sleep in your nose. I mean, what's wrong? That is philosophy, my friend. It's called the philosophy of camping. Shaitan doing camping. Shaitan in your mouth. Shaitan in your nose. Shaitan in your ears. What happened to this uh, Abdul? He could not find the proper internet. Let us see where Shaitan is sleeping in your nose. <sighs> what you would say very sad how people in this world they believe in this mention was uh, made by prophet of a man who slept okay all night and then he says his man who is ear satan urinated that's how Muhammad explained the walks in your ears. And uh, by the way, this is proving to be accurate. 
there is a scientist his name Yama I do Sasuki Toyota Honda Honda Yama Yama call me baby very well known scientist he said this is true Any Muslim want to say something? And what happened to this guy? He want to explain to me. Hmm? Let us have serious conversation about this man. تتكلم عربية تتكلم عربية. Okay, I know that you are a kid. Do we have any Muslim? Anyone? So when a Muslim speak about philosophy, as you see, all Islamic, all the Islamic cult will collapse immediately. Okay, Mirza is going again. Yes. <coughs> uh, brother, um, all right. can you hear me now? I Good. hear you. I hear you perfectly. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, because I live, um, you know, my Wi-Fi mode is far away from my room. Right, right. Okay. And? What, uh, what is the answer? So, so your prophet, he said that Adam commits sin because Allah he made him commit. You know my wife. Say again, brother. Allah oh, he Adam made Adam commit sin. Allah he make us commit sin. It's a destiny, correct? Uh oh oh. As I've said, yeah, brother. Adam mm -hmm. is like um. He was a test, and if if he failed the test, we wouldn't be existing. But if he completed the test by sinning, what? we would come what, to what, what, earth. Hold on, hold on. How? And, how and this then is, you know, because on, Allah said, hold on, hold on. if Adam didn't sin, you wouldn't be how, created. How? How this is a test? If Allah He made it as a fate. Test is you choose to do as you wish. I give you a test. You answer as you wish, right? So if what Allah, if fate, Allah, just because Allah knows the future. No, no, no. This is about not knowing the future. You see, as you see, it Adam, doesn't mean. Uh, oh, hold on. No, it does mean. It does. Mean. It? it says that Allah He wrote my decree. Read with me carefully. This is the same, different story. This is Sahih Hadith. It says, "Do you blame me for doing a deed which Allah had decreed that I should do forty years before He created me?" Do you blame me for doing a deed which Allah has decreed that I should do 40 years before he had created me? So Adam got better of Moses. Uh, which which hadith is this? Is this, this is, reliable? This is uh, what? Is this hadith reliable? No, it's not. Nothing reliable in Islam. As you know, all of it is made a counterfeit in China. <laughs> China. <laughs> no, 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 uh, I mean, no. isn't it funny you are asking me? I mean, you, you Muslims are really funny. You are saying to us that Islam is full of garbage. This is what we, what it mean when you say, is it a reliable? This is what it's meant. It's meant there's a lot of garbage in our books. So how you follow Islam if the garbage is all over? So you are saying to me, is that garbage or recycle? It is said here, Sahih. So what we will do now? Sahih. Mm, sahih. <coughs> uh, which one? Ben, no. <coughs> well, it is Sahih, yeah. So, do it's, you blame me? I, I my father said, man. Do you blame me for doing deeds which Allah had decreed that I should do? Which means you have no choice. It's a deed Allah decreed. Do you agree with me? All right. So, so I can I can use this example. Let's say Allah he uh, makes a meteorite hit the earth, and this causes people to. Or flee from the place the meteorite hit does that mean um, they it was it was it wasn't free will don't change topic Adam he said Allah decreed for me that I should do what does that mean I dec he decreed for me that I should do I should do what is the free will you are telling me about uh, 
one second, wrong one second. Do you play? Go, brother. Because do you? One second. Yeah, no, until I get my yes. What? Stuff, brother. What? No, you can just continue. I'll, I'll get my uh, stuff out. What? I don't understand what. But, I'm waiting for No, I mean, up. you can just continue. Just, you know, talk because you, you got a nice voice and you were saying something. I'm about to, uh, I'm trying to find the stuff, you know? Mm, okay, I have a nice voice. Uh, okay. All right. No. All right, all right. Okay. I mean, uh, uh, what's wrong with those people? You have a nice voice. Okay. I keep blocking women, and then I get Muslims now, Muslim men. They have nice voice. That's what is missing in my life. As you see here, do you blame me for doing a deed which Allah had decreed, which means the sin of Adam is not the sin of Adam, is the sin of Allah. And here you see the philosophy of the cult of Islam. So Allah make us commit sin and then Allah he punish us for the sin who he made us do the sin. Have you ever heard of a stupid cult like this before? That is philosophy. And you see, the second you ask them a very simple question, they are in trouble. Because what they will say, I mean, this is stupid. This is literally stupid. This is cannot be from God. What does this have to do with God? I don't know if I can find the video where the Muhammad he said to us in the debate that Allah he wanted to find a victim he wanted the victim so he will be known victim and here you notice by the way something silly in this conversation the story all of it it's sh showing us that Muhammad is a fiction man how Adam and Moses they are debating when there's thousand of years between them they met where in one of the stories Muhammad when he said he went to the heaven he said that he saw there Adam and Moses but Muhammad he said in the day of resurrection the first one to be resurrected is going to be him that's mean everybody is still dead the only one we know according to Islam is alive right now in heaven is uh, Isa which is supposedly a Jesus Any Muslim? Secondly, why Moses is I mean, don't the Muslim they say Moses was a Muslim? But Moses here he believed in the original sin by saying to him, Because of you, we are out of heaven. This is what the original sin is. Because of Adam, we are out of heaven. So Moses he died, yet he is not a Muslim. This is what Muhammad is saying. Because it's against the Islamic teaching and belief. To believe in original sin. And here you notice that whatever Muhammad is saying, it's a pure poo, poo It's not even good for manure business. What destiny we are talking about? The promise of 72 
night worker for each man or 72 for all men I'm not sure what do you mean Abdullah uh, the numbers of 72 this is the lowest reward this is not the reward this is for a bad Muslim 72 is for the bad bad the, the, the one who will be the last to enter heaven the last one who enter heaven will have that reward I don't know what is that word I know that this is not Arabic give me the word in Arabic this is funny and now by the way where is those Muslims who want to challenge me in Facebook and we are the lions of Allah okay we are waiting we accept even cats if, if lions are not there we accept giraffe giraffe is fine we are the lions of all you're right all of you are lions anyone so as you see here this is all is 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 proving to us that Islam Muhammad is like a madman he keeps saying things I mean this and whatever he says is stupid this person he was killed for because his very nature which Allah he made him as he was killed for that reason guys Mirza he gave me an answer you want to see the answer let's call Mirza Mirza he squeezed his head and he come with an answer. Hold on. yes Mirza what is the answer um <clears throat> yeah I I'm trying to put the camera off, brother. So I couldn't find the notes. No, you just told uh, me something. In the text. I just want no, to quickly say, say I want to say what you said to me in text. What you said to me in text in Skype. I said, I said, so uh, wait, let me read it. Um, this one refers to Adam, peace be upon him. He was brought down as a sinner so he could repent, so the repentance could enter the world. So Allah um, didn't give him free will, but he gave the ones who was going to live in this repentance world the free will. So you are saying Adam, okay, so you are Muslim saying, hold on, hold on, hold on, inshallah, hold on. inshallah Muslims, alhamdulillah. All right, all right, inshallah, inshallah. Okay, hang up. <laughs> so guys, Allah, he did not give a free will to Adam because he want him to repent. I mean, how stupid that is. How stupid that is. So you force him to sin so he will repent. He should not repent because you force him. If somebody hold my hand and made me kill somebody with a knife and he put the knife in my hand and he forced me to push the knife I did not kill the guy the one who killed him should repent Allah should repent this is how silly the answer secondly you say this is only for Adam not the rest for the Muslims this is false look what your Prophet said the Prophet of the Abdul <clears throat> your prophet said and this is Sahih al-Bukhari this is for every human being every human being with no exception supposedly including me it says Muhammad he swear and by Allah the person among you or a man anyone May do the deeds of the people of the fire till there is one cupid or an arm breathe distance between him and fire. Okay, so you are doing the deeds of fire. What is the deed of fires? You take a Christian as a friend, as an example, you don't kill him, you don't attack him. That is the deed of fire. But then that is written, which Allah ordered the angel to write. This is the fate. Proceed and he does the deeds of people of paradise and he enter it What? So entering paradise is not by your what you do. It's what what Allah he wrote for you already And then he continues saying the opposite and a man May do the deeds of the people of paradise till there is only one cupid or or two between him and paradise You are almost in the door and then that is written 
by Allah supposedly proceeding and he does the deeds of people of fire and he enter it so go into heaven go into hell it's a destiny it's not a choice it's not your deeds it's Allah deeds it's what Allah wrote for you stupid Islam so now why I want to do good deeds at the end of the day what Allah what Allah deeds is written for me is going to happen correct guys is that correct do you see how city city like this guy poor guy he tried to defend but he don't know what he's talking about so what the point at the end of the day it's what Allah wrote for you for me for you for everybody so you are a Muslim or not Muslim that will not change anything Allah he wrote for you destiny before he created you and that will take over at the end so Islam is a stupid religion only fool will believe in Islam because as you see you believe you don't believe at the end of the day what Allah wrote for you will happen hmm? this is how stupid this cult is uh, again by the way those who did not watch the video we made yesterday for the sheikh from indonesia the video the link is in the info uh, you can search for the name anyway in youtube for the last 24 hours and you will see many people posting the videos all right this is why we say you know islam is a stupid cult it's not it's not, it's not even religion i mean this this cult did not reach the the the, the, like the level to be called religion it's full of stupidity contradictions madness crazy when Muhammad he say those things do, do even he is use his, his brain and look here Muhammad explaining how the baby is created you will die laughing how the science of the Prophet work Allah messenger the truthful the truly inspired said maybe we should call Zakir Naik because he is a doctor he can explain to us each one of you is collected as a, as a semen by the way the hadith here says as a semen in the womb of his mother for 40 days and then turn into a clot congeal blood for equal days 40 days okay and then he turned to a piece of a flesh for a similar period 40 days so what the total of our creation guys a baby is fully created how many days who want to give me the correct number? Anyone is calculating? 120 days? That's it? Why are we rabbits? What nine months? This is nine months for you? 40 days plus 40 days plus 40 days according to Muhammad the science of Allah the baby is created within 120 days yeah I mean the hadith we are talking about it in the screen come on you guys, what did you drink today? And not only that, Muhammad he claimed that we are going to stay in the in the belly of our mother, not the womb. Here he says it's they translate the word womb in Arabic. It says, "Inna hadakum yujma fi batni ummihi arba'ina yawman." One of you will be collected in the belly. Of his mother stomach of his mother for 40 days if we go to the front hadith just to show you how the Muslim they fabricate <coughs> this is about the sperm semen This is here the process of a human a human being. Allah he says, Oh Lord, a drop of semen, drop of semen, oh Lord, a clot of a congealed blood, oh Lord, etc. But let us go down. 
when the prophet said when a drop of semen remain in the womb this is what they said womb all right this is the translation for 40 or 50 days or 40 nights Muhammad is not sure like he's a scientist guys dr. Muhammad is like 40 days 50 days 40 night are we talking about zucchini now this is science so either 40 or 50 what is that okay so you are a sperm as a sperm as a semen in your mother womb for 40 days 50 days by the way I stayed longer as I remember and I have selfie and I can prove it that is science so one stage of the baby he is a he is a, a drop of semen for 40 days what science says that maximum semen can live for five days maximum he can search it yeah because I did not go man it was it was winter time I like it in that location and because it's a semen so you are you, you have the chance to play with millions of semen in your age I mean do you know how many semen there it was fun I don't want to go there stay alone so Muhammad he claimed that the drop of semen drop millions those they will become a baby that's what he's saying do you speak Arabic no I am like the prophet I am illiterate yeah, all this time we are reading for you in Arabic and you are saying to me speak Arabic anyway guys I think we have enough for today and this is how we see the philosophy of Allah the philosophy of Allah is to speak rubbish talk rubbish and nobody understand your rubbish and that make it a great philosophy Allah is the best of philosophers say whatever you want and the Muslims we say we believe it's a very democratic parliament full of scientists they are called Abdul whatever Allah he say they agree with him for Allah is all-knowing and for sure their prophet is knows best it's like the parliament of Saddam Hussein where everybody agree before the guy even talk That's exactly what the philosophy of Allah is about. No, I have to go because that's it. We don't want to make the video long, you know. And by the way, tomorrow I am invited. They wanted me to stay actually for like two hours with them, but I told them it's not, uh, you know, not worth it. Uh, uh, brother Al Fadi, you know him, right? He will be live, and he have a brother David Wood and Sam Shamoon, and he contacted me, asked me if I can join them. I told him I will join you, but only for you know short time. Because you have already, I mean, you have two guys there, and you, and you, I mean, three of you, three musketeers is enough. I will not uh, be needed much. So I will be tomorrow at 12 p.m. New York time. We will be live. 12 p.m. New York time, which means about five hours ago. All right, and we will be live with the brother Al Fadi, David Wood. And Sam Shamon. All right, uh, you will see it in my channel. Don't worry, I will podcast it to my channel. Good. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. Tell your friends about tomorrow, and we will have a good time. And I'm so happy to see a lot of Muslims, especially from Indonesia, leaving Islam. You don't believe it how many messages I'm leaving. Uh, I'm really, I'm really so happy. Even though I'm tired, really, from speaking to a lot of people, and it's too much headache. Uh, too much pressure you know because it's too much work but uh, at the end of the day we feel that's you know when you see the accomplishment uh, we open we open a great gate for Christians to be armed peacefully in Indonesia and we want to arm them with knowledge not with weapons we want them to live in peace with the Muslims we want them to love the Muslims 
we are people of love not people of hate so we want to arm every Christian with knowledge and knowledge my friend is your best weapon and Islam fear that Islam build on stupidity and ignorance the more ignorant you are the more we can control you knowledge destroy Islam so let us spread the knowledge feel free to translate my videos to any language you wish any language you understand cut them pieces like yesterday the video it maybe it's long you can make it short like that the part where I said to the guy he said that the logos became a man and he claimed that this is a pagan ideology he can cut that part and make it a video by itself so let us together work and do the uh, little work to serve God our Lord so we can serve others because by serving the Lord we are serving people the Lord he do not need us by the way the Lord he do not need your servants he do not need you to be a servant he needed to serve others which means he want us to be a community of love and passionate and our differences should bring something better not something bad not in the case of Islam because Islam reject everybody and Islam is a supremacist cult based on the Arab the white Arab who believe anyone else is under their belt this is why Muhammad he said in the Quran in the Hadith and the Quran that the Muslim is the best of mankind and why he is the best of mankind because he have a duty to chain every human being neck as if he's a dog this is a clearly a very ugly supremacist cult you are the best people ever raised up for the benefit of mankind when you see this Muslim they put the word benefit between two back bracket which means it's not really in the Quran you said yourself sound good I mean this is sound good for the benefit what do you want more so the Quran teaching Muslim to be beneficial not harmful but they will not tell you what does that mean the best for mankind are those who bring them bring them who the mankind with a chain around their necks till they embrace Islam and the purpose of doing that not because the Muslims will take you as a slave no because they don't want you to enter hellfire brother so this is the logic of the evil of the cult of Islam bringing people against their will with the chains around their neck force them to embrace Islam or die and that's supposedly what it's called the charity that's supposedly what is called righteousness in Islam that's supposed what's called jihad in Islam those are the best of Muslims those are the best of mankind we said many times we speak to adult not kids so I want to say thank you guys the Lord always he don't leave himself without witnesses and our witnesses are true witnesses not like Muhammad who witnessed to Jesus 600 years without seeing Jesus knowing Jesus he know even what happened to Jesus in the cross by claiming according to the philosophy of Muhammad that Allah cloned someone like Jesus look how hilarious this is cloning we reach the fantasy of a cloning Allah cloned someone looks like, like Jesus he made him look like he was a crucified and Allah he fooled us he did lie to us he made it appear to be Jesus but it was not Jesus which means Allah is a deceiver this is why my first book ever I wrote it's called the deception of Allah for Allah is nothing but a deceiver and actually even in the Quran he introduced himself and we have tons of verses mentioned in the Quran he introduced himself as the best of deceivers so thank you for being here may the Lord bless you and until we see you again Christ is Lord Islam is false thank you very much